What's up guys, Electro here. Welcome back to the channel and more importantly, welcome back to Construction Sim 2015. Uh, we are at the vehicle dealer. Woohoo! Yes, let's all get excited because uh, I think it's time for another new vehicle and uh, probably a new tutorial. Uh, this time around we're going to go for the mobile crane because we need that for one of the special missions. Uh, it's going to cost us 500,000, so we're going to dip below a million credits, unfortunately. Uh, but we do need it, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. Uh, and then hopefully it'll be around the corner and we can just do the tutorial. Yes, it's there. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, tutorial truck crane. Yep, that's the one we need to do. Uh, okay, we need to transport wall primer to the marked area in the construction site. Scaffolding still uh, to the marked area of the construction site and some wall forms. Uh, get in the truck crane to start the tutorial. Okay, we'll run on over to the crane then. Uh, hello Electro Hard Hat. Today I'll show you the truck crane. Cool. Uh, very good. I'm quite curious. Ah, uh, and there is already some cargo on a uh oh sorry, some cargo to train with over there. Exactly. The load shall be placed on the uppermost floor of the marked area. Okay, I'll do my best. Very good. First drive of the truck crane into the marked area between the pylons. Okay, I'm assuming they mean drive it in here. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, we'll just drive in normally. Okay. What next, do we need to go and chat to him again? No. Assuming we need to put some form of legs out, yep. So it's pretty much similar to the other vehicles in terms of the uh, the support legs. And then we need to change the vehicle mode, so we do that with B. <coughs> and are we in? Yes, we are. We're in the other little cabin, which is on the uh, the side there, or on top. Now the whole reason I bought this is because we're going to need it for the special mission where we go to the sports park because I think we need to do some uh, some steel work um, and sadly our other crane or the flatbed with the crane doesn't work and I don't think we have the ability of, um, of uh, doing something with... Um, okay sense uh, yeah I don't think we've got the ability to use the tower crane in order to um, do what we need to do over there so looks like we've got to pick some wall primer up cool we've got some quite cool um, clips Quite cool camera angle, should I say? Uh, let's pick this up. And then we can pop that on the roof. up the wall forms next okay 
Go for the second one. And then we've just got that steel work to go and get. So yeah, this is a pretty awesome machine. Although I can see the downside straight away that you can't, unless you're on the uh, the hook camera, you can't quite see what you're doing. But I think it's a lot quicker than the um, the other crane is. Lastly, we'll just pick up the steel work. I'm assuming, yeah, we can rotate as well using um, the left and right triggers on our Xbox controller. Okay, we just need to clear this. And this collapses down quite nicely. A uh, very, very quick crane. Uh, so it should start making some short work of our construction sites, hopefully. goes back down with the legs and then we can reverse back off of the site uh, so a pretty short tutorial uh, and we're going to jump straight into that special mission I think I say I think I know we're going to uh, so yeah we're going to jump straight into that special mission and uh, I'm going to go and do the sports park lighting okay well done you place the whole load in the area Yep, that was no problem. Thanks for the tutorial. Cool, we're now a climber. We've finished all tutorials. So we've got no more tutorials to do. Didn't give us any XP as normal. Uh, so we're going to jump straight ahead and have a look at the special job that we now need to do. Oh, we've got a power station to do now as well. Uh, because we've now got the heavy duty crane. So we're not going to do that one just yet, but that's another one we can look at. Uh, oh, sorry, no, it's the floodlights I needed this crane for. Didn't actually need a large crane for the soccer field because we just need the goalposts. However, we are going to go ahead and accept that. And we're going to drive to the site and have a chat with the foreman. I don't know how far we've got to go, but I think uh, we've been to the sports park before and it was kind of halfway between our new city base and, uh, and uh, the old village base. So yeah, exciting week ahead, guys. <clears throat> Just after the weekend on the 9th, a new game gets released uh, called Firewatch. I've been keeping an eye on it for a little while. Uh, it's kind of an adventure um, game. Uh, you might want to get out of the way, guys, because I'm on a green light and you shouldn't be walking, I don't think. Or maybe you should. Um, yeah, it's like an adventure game with uh, graphics I can only say are very similar to, perhaps like Borderlands. So, 
They're, they're like cartoony graphics. Uh, it's on sale at the moment on Steam with 10% off. Uh, if you're in the UK, I think that equates to about £13, £14, something like that. Uh, elsewhere, US dollars, it's 19.99. So, um, if you're not sure what the game's all about, keep posted to the channel. The only way you can really do that is uh, by giving that subscribe button a whack when you're out of the video. Uh, and then we will be playing some Firewatch uh, in due course, probably next week when it comes out. I say probably we will be um, because um, it comes out on the 9th and I plan on doing a fair few episodes of that uh, off the bat straight away. So Firewatch from the 9th. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a particularly long game. Oh, where are we going? Um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of my plan. I've been keeping an eye on it for a little while, so that's going to be on the channel from uh, what's the night? It's probably Tuesday onwards, I think. So yeah, as I say, the only way that you guys can uh, be aware of that is to have a look either back on the ninth or um, give that subscribe button a whack, and good old Google will send you an email once we've uploaded that video. Now, but for now, we are well and truly with Construction Sim 2015. Uh, we are on to another new vehicle, the mobile crane here, and uh, we're getting our way through some of these special missions. So, as we said, we're en route to the sports park to do some goal work. I'm going to go have a chat with the foreman, see what he needs us to do. Now, it looks like I'm totally wrong in terms of where this uh, sports park is. I thought it was the one we did the running track for previously and it doesn't look like it is so it's going to be a new one to me unless we're going somewhere else and having a chat with the foreman I don't know let's have a quick look on the map whilst we're waiting actually do you know what I think we might be going the wrong way Maybe not, maybe we are, I'm not 100% sure. Seems to be taking us back that way when I've clicked on the talk to foreman button. He might be at the home base. But anyway, it turns out we didn't need this crane for that work. However, we do need it for the second part, which is the uh, sports park lighting. And I think that was the one uh, that's that's definitely the one with the running track and uh, having watched a, a video previously I know that ideally the heavy sort of crane is um, is what you need for that mission um, I don't think you can use the tower crane so that's why we've gone ahead and bought this we needed it anyway sadly it's dropped us below the million pound uh, mark or million credits mark but um, we will soon make that up yeah, I'm assuming he's going to be at the home base and we need to go and have a chat with him there. Yeah, here we go. There's a um, speech bubble up here. I suppose one of the good things about this is that um, this uh, crane's actually quite quick. Okay, we're going to talk to the foreman. Hello, Electra Harder. I've got a call. The city has built a new soccer field for kids near the main station. It's nearly ready. It just lacks the goals. Okay, I think I know what needs to be done. I'll take care of it. Great. The owner of the steel mill is donating the goals. You just have to get them, deliver them to the soccer field. I think the flatbed with the crane would be best suited for the job. Um, okay, tell you what, we're not going to do that because I want to use this. So we are going to take this to the construction site. Or we're not actually because it's not on there. 
Um, it's near the station. So we can go to the train station with this. And then what we can do is we can go to the construction site, we can leave it there. Uh, and then we'll go and get our flatbed with the truck, go to the steel mill, pick up the goals. Uh, and we can use this to offload the goals at each end of the pitch. And then jobs are good. Un. Probably going to be a short episode. Also waiting at this light, we can see what else other jobs we can get our guys working on. Um, we'll do that, I think. We're just going to drive to that site and we'll leave this here. We've got our guys running on another job for the minute. Just to give us a little bit of extra cash that should bump us up to somewhere near that million dollar mark or million credit mark again. Here we go, soccer field. May as well go ahead and deploy. Awesome, there it is. Uh, we'll get our guards going again on this bit. They normally take a fair amount of time to compress a marked area. Uh, and then we're going to go and get the flatbed with the crane. We'll go on over to the steel mill. Uh, steel mill, steel mill. Can have a chat with that friend here pick up the goals he's donated okay so he's placed that order out the front oh there they are they're already here look uh, and we can use the flatbed crane to pick these up hopefully our outriggers, uh, drop the sides and then we can move on up to pick up these two goals. So that the kids of uh, this fine town have something to go and do. I've really seen many other places other than the sports park we did that work on very early on. If you haven't seen that then uh, have a look on the Construction Sim 2015 playlist on the channel and you'll see what you were missing. Uh, some fair amount of work went in there, a lot of uh, delivering earth and um, some other bits and bobs. Metal goals. 
haven't really ever seen them in football. You wouldn't want to go keep running towards the goal and smash yourself into them, would you? Would that be pretty painful? Are we going to get both of these on? Because it, to me, that doesn't look like we are. I need to do some moving around. might just get the next one on by doing the same kind of angling it just like that I suppose it's probably the only way that we are going to get them both on together <coughs> excuse me pretty much kind of like that Maybe a bit more of an angle on it. Not sure that's worked, but oh, we can't attach that because cargo is not loaded properly. Yeah, I don't really think we're going to get them on any better, that's the issue. I <clears throat> don't know if that went any further forwards that time. I'm just 
try spinning it around that way. We must be able to get both of these on at once. You know what, I just don't think it's going to happen, is it? Oh yeah, the car, the uh, flatbed with the crane will do. Well, yeah, to be fair, mate, I don't think it is going to do, is it? Because we're not going to get both of those on. So, that foreman, Peter, whatever his name is, is a knob. So we're going to have to do these in two trips. Not really a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. Just attach that first so that doesn't go anywhere. Part of the cargo is not loaded properly. Brilliant. Do you know what? I don't care. It's, um, it's staying on there. We're not getting paid anything for this job anyway, so Pete can stick it up his arse. Uh, let's get our guys going on that so we get that money going. Yes, it will probably fly off the truck, and there's not really a lot I can do about it, but I'm not going to attach it. We're just going to have to see if, it's, if it survives the journey. I'm pretty confident it will, but it's made of steel. put our lights on just in case it comes flying off and we'll head on over to the sports park probably could have put the second one on as well but you know what we'll do it in two trips just in case I could have stacked them I suppose I could have turned them onto their sides couldn't I Yeah, we're being reckless. We've got unsecured cargo. And uh, we're just cutting people up. Okay, going down this main road. Don't, we've been down here before. Doesn't look familiar to me. I think maybe we've come off of one of these off ramps down towards the vehicle DDR. I can see it's up there on the left. We just haven't come that way before. Okay, so we're going to go across this bridge. And then oh, I can see our crane over there, so we're right next to the uh, the new football field. And we made it without killing anybody, which is a bit of a bonus. Uh, it's not secured, so we can just jump straight into this. And we'll do this from the internal view, just as a uh, real crane person would do.
Okay, we can jump out. That's one one of the uh, metallic goals done. Metallic. Uh, and we've got a little bit more to do. Some fencing they've left over there. Uh, and we're going to jump back in. I'm going to fast travel back to the steel mill to pick up the second one. again Pass that one on, uh, we'll just collapse the crane back down. And we can probably secure this one on because it's on nice and centrally. Not going to go anywhere. So we'll fly on back to the sports park. You can see a big crane there in the distance. I'm not sure. Is that is that our home base? I think it might be. Sort of over there. There's a big tower crane, a singular tower crane. Probably kill our lights this time round. Head on over to the football field. So yeah, next time round we will probably do the um, sports park lighting job. I think there's some more steel work jobs to go in there, um, and I'm pretty confident that we have to use a larger trailer uh, probably one of the rental trailers from the steel mill or the steel works because we can't use the flatbed with a crane for that job purely because the uh, the lights won't fit i think there's a, a number of different stanchions or different parts to the uh, the light fixtures um, for each of the lights so that's probably going to be a fairly big job but it should span just one episode and uh, the guys are taking their pretty time with um, the concrete work that they're doing at the minute hopefully this combined with their work is going to top us back over to the million dollar mark or million credit mark uh, whether or not we get up to level 13, I don't know. I don't think it's going to give us enough XP just doing this small job here. And just like right under the crane. snapshot for the intro title or the uh, the thumbnail I think that will probably do 
and detach the cargo and jump into our new mobile crane. We'll spin the go around whilst we're moving this over to this part of the park. Just catch him on the floor ever so slightly. I appreciate it's green, but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I want to make sure that it's pretty much spot on. Pack our crane away now. Oh, we need to go this way. Excuse me, may I ask you a question? Uh, you can do. guy who's come all the way over excuse me can I ask you this is councillor Smiths uh, I just drove by and saw you installing the goals in this soccer field I suppose you have a construction company yes we do yes you're right my company's called electro construct uh, we are located in the city near the harbour Oh, very good. I'm looking for a company who, which has some experience in building sports facilities. I bought a nice house on the hill some time ago, moved there with my family. Everything is fine, except my wife insists on a tennis court. Can you handle a job like that? Yeah, of course we can. That's what I wanted to hear. I'll get in touch with you soon to discuss the details. Of course, I look forward to hearing you from you. Have a nice day. Cool, we've got some more, um, more work to do. So now we need to clear the construction site, which included me for once. Uh, we shall clear the mobile crane. I'll try not to run over the councillor because he's going to pay us lots of money to put a tennis court in his property. And then we're going to jump into this. And hopefully some special sports field is going to appear before our eyes. Yeah, there we go. So we got 10 grand for that, or 10,000 credits, 500 XP. So it's not going to take us up over to 13,000 in X, or sorry, level 13. However, it did give us a fair amount. Ah, okay, so there's a nice sort of astroturfed, um, finished off sports pitch there for the kids. Let's go and have a look at it. never get onto these things properly because they're kind of blocked out but um there it is they're, they're the goals we put in now we didn't really do any of the other work but um we did a fair amount of it now we'll get these two vehicles back to the home depot and we're going to jump into our new mobile crane and we'll take that back to the home base where it can live Taking pride of place right next to the DLC tower crane that we've unlocked uh, about 10 episodes ago, I think it was. Um, 
our fleet is now looking fairly substantial. We've got a rental trailer over here. Still haven't figured out what these things here are for, uh, but I'm sure we will do in a future episode. We've got our low boy truck, we've got our concrete pump, we've got our large excavator concrete mixer, we've got our um, skip loader, we've got our small flatbed truck, we've got our half bike truck, we've got the small trailer, the low boy truck, we've got the steamroller, we've got the small excavator, we've got the mobile flatbed crane, we've got our new uh, big heavy duty crane and we've got our flat top crane which is the DLC. So for the next episode I think we are going to do another special mission possibly. We can't do any of these because we need a rotary drilling rig. Uh, it seems to be now doing okay in terms of us allowing us to do uh, concrete pumping. We seem to have a bit of a bug. It wasn't allowing us to do that previously. Uh, special jobs. So floodlight mast for the stadium. That's a third. Uh, sorry, crane three. So the heavy duty crane we've unlocked. That will probably be for the next mission. We've got a pool for the mayor. The rich and beautiful. We've got some compacting to do, uh, and then we've got um, some earth to deliver for the tennis courts and then this new one we have now got uh, the power station to build uh, so i'm kind of torn at the moment between doing the power station and the floodlights one's two hundred thousand, one sixteen. yeah we're probably going to go for the 200 grand aren't we let's be honest um tutorials are now all done we haven't got any more of those to do uh we've got the special jobs and we've still got a fair amount of um sort of lower end missions to do as well but however we've got a 400,000 pound house to build hmm you never know we could do that doesn't look like it's taking up any special vehicles at the minute got the large excavator yeah large excavator we got uh, a flatbed the other flatbed concrete pumping and the mixer so yeah you never know we could do that I don't know um, how much more has our guys got to do on this let's get them carrying on with that however for now I think we will call it quits on this episode so today we have looked at the mobile crane which is this beast of a machine here uh, much, much quicker than the uh, flatbed truck with a crane and capable of lifting heavier equipment and um, taking it much, much further. Nice and fast on the road as well. So uh, we'll be using that to its full potential in the future. However, for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time when we're back playing more Construction Sim 2015. Take care, guys. Bye for now.